video, I'll show you how to create a pivot table and a pivot chart. I'll also show you how to link the pivot chart to PowerPoint. Just like in the last video where we used the automatic subtotal to summarize our data, we can also use the pivot table to do the same. If you missed the last video, be sure to check it out. So how do we do this? Ensure first that you have formatted your data as a table. Then go to Home, Insert, Pivot Table. Now it's going to ask you for the table or the range from where you are summarizing your data. And this time I'm going to highlight my table one. Yeah my table one now i have my table one it's asking do you want the pivot table to be reported in a new worksheet or the existing or this existing worksheet i'm going to go for new worksheet and i'll say okay now you're ready to create your pivot table if you look towards the right of your worksheet you will see the pivot table list and this list is already showing the columns we have in our original data in our table one you can see the name state employee code department and the salary this list is called the pivot table field list so we are going to walk in from the pivot table field list now what data are we trying to summarize remember in lesson one we were able to summarize the salaries by states so let's do the same thing right now by summarizing the salaries by state. Now, to stop that, just drag on the states and put it in the row labels. Alternatively, let's, let, let's put it back and let me show you something. Alternatively, you can check the box just right in front of the state and it's gonna put it into the row labels. It's assuming that that is a row label. So you can either check it or move it. So you can check or drag it. So right now we have the states under the row label. So we want to summarize the salaries per state. If I check this, it's going to assume also that this salary are values. So it has brought it in front of the states. You can see from the left side of your worksheet that you have the, the, the summary of all the salary by states. Okay, like right now, um, looking at this table, you can walk from your uh, you can walk from your value field settings to do some formatting to the number because right now, as it is looking, it's not looking like a monetary value, just like we discussed in lesson one. If I want to make it look like monetary value, I come here, click on my sum of salary, and I pick the value field setting. Right down here, you can see your number format. So click on the number format, look for the currency, and select the currency type. I'm going to select Naira, since this is Nigeria. I'll select my Naira sign. I can pick any of the Naira and say, OK. OK, you can see right now, my figures are looking like monetary value. So this is just a simple way to create summaries using pivot table. Now, from your pivot table also, you can, you can create a chart. How do you create a chart? Let's try and create a pivot chart from this data. Now, to do that, looking up in the tab menu, in the menu tab, you will see what we have, pivot table tools. Under the pivot table tools, we have the options and the design. So I'll simply click on the options. And under the options, you can see what you have as pivot charts. Click on the pivot chart. It's going to ask you what kind of chart are you trying to create. Now let's try out the pie charts. Pie charts, you have different designs for your pie charts. You can just simply click any one. I'll pick the second one and I'll say OK. And what simply happens is that my data is displayed in pie chart format. This is interesting. So from your pivot chart tools, you can also work on your pie charts. How do you do that? Go to your layout. You can also simply move it to a position that is okay for you. You can move it 
just drag it to any or any position you feel you want to put it so go to the layout click on the layout from here I may want to put the values like I want the values the, the salary values displayed on my pie chart so from my layout I'll just go to data labels and um, from my data labels I can just say more data label options so from the label options you can see that the value is checked and this is best fit this actually indicates that you can have your value displayed on your pie chart so see what happens if I close this I'm going to have my figures on my pie chart but also simply looking at it I may not like how the, the figures are displayed I may prefer to display the states instead so how do you do this? Go back to your layout, go back to your data labels, more data label options. Then instead of checking the value, I will check the category name. And I will say I want it inside end or outside end. You pick which one is okay. I can say inside end and I say close. So good. You can see it is displaying the state instead of the salary. So I can either display the category or the values so in this case I'm displaying the categories the categories are the states so you can also work on how the the categories are displayed on your on your pie chart how do you do this simply go back to your data labels go to more data label options and you can come to alignment I will say how do you want the uh, text displayed I can right now is on horizontal I can change it to rotate all text 90 degree and click on close. Yeah, the, the texts now are displayed 90 degrees. You can also come and say, oh, this isn't looking good. Go back to your labels and um, more data labels and say alignment or I think I want to keep it start. Say close. Oh, this is what you have. This is not displaying well. I can click on it again and say data labels. Oh, I think um, alignment. I want it text direction. I'll just keep it horizontal like originally. Here. Yeah. Now, you can see your, your data is displayed with the total, with the details. If you don't like it this way also, you can go back to or uh, click on any of the values, go back to data labels and say more data label options. I don't want my values. I want just the category and I want it inside inside end and i click on ok so i guess this is looking better looking better so to walk around how your your text is displayed on your charts you always use your data label options data label options you can also work on the size of your text. If you feel, oh, this isn't really looking bold enough, I want to make it look bold, just click on any of the text, go to your own, and um, go adjust the font size. Now, I can make it bigger. I can make it bigger. I can make it bigger. So right now, I'm just going to leave it on 10. But I just showed you how to increase the size of the text. You can increase the size of the text using... Um, the home and increasing the font size just like the normal way of increasing your font size okay so right now you can decide to change the destination of your chart if you don't want to leave it right here you can take your chart into another worksheet and um, how do you do this just right click and say move charts right click on your chart and say move charts it's going to ask you, do you want to move it to a new sheet? Yeah, so I'm going to say, move it to a new sheet. 
and I'll click on okay right now you can see that um, my data my pie chart is showing in a new sheet it's showing in a new sheet so this is really looking pretty good pretty good yeah this is great another thing you can do talking about linking your 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 charts to a microsoft powerpoint file simply open a microsoft powerpoint file i have one open here i click on this okay i can create a new slide from here okay then uh, simply come to your chart and um, copy your chart. You can use the Ctrl C to copy your charts. Ctrl C. Then go to your PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. Go to the Paste tab. Paste tab. Go to Paste Special. And this time, pick paste link paste link because you want to link your chart in your microsoft excel sheet to your microsoft powerpoint sheet so just click on paste link and say okay System. okay right now good we have our um pie charts pasted in our microsoft powerpoint What's the essence of linking your Microsoft um, Excel sheet to your Microsoft PowerPoint? The essence is this. Anytime you make an amendment in your Microsoft Excel sheet, it's going to be automatically amended in the Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's look at an example. Now I come back to my Microsoft Excel sheet and I come here. There is a way to also change your um, your chart series if i feel i do not want to use a pie chart anymore i want to use a bar chart so i come and i i right click and say change series chart type it's going to show me other options and i'm going to pick a bar chart if i pick a bar chart and say okay now my pie chart automatically transforms to a bar chart so changing your your chart series so just simply right click on your chart and pick another type of chart. So right now for my pie chart, I have picked my bar chart. Let's see what happens to the Microsoft PowerPoint file. You can simply see that without even changing from a Microsoft PowerPoint, because I changed from my Microsoft Excel sheet, it automatically changed in my Microsoft PowerPoint file. So that is why you can simply link. That is the advantage of linking your Microsoft Excel worksheet to your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation file. So whatever amendments you do in your Excel sheets will automatically be done in your Microsoft PowerPoint. So great. This is great. I've been able to show us how to change the chart series. I've been able to show us how to align our text on the chart. I've been able to show you how to create your pivot table. In the next video, I'll show you how to visually represent your data with sparklines. Remember to subscribe if you have not and click the bell icon to get notified when we post the next video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next